Hello, welcome or welcome back. Today we are talking about um, another palette I have made out of my singles. Actually, this is um, a couple of my singles, or a few of my singles, and some ColourPop eyeshadows that I used to make this palette right here. Um, and this palette was inspired by the Sugar Pill Fun Size and Fun Size 2 palette. Now, I already own the Fun Size palette, and I included pretty much all of those shadows in this particular palette. Um, I duped out the Fun Size 2. Um, I changed, um, so in each of the palettes, I only changed one eyeshadow. And then I added some topper glittery kind of shades down here. Um, so yeah, let's just get right into it. I will talk about what I put in here, a couple of things I changed and yeah, let's get started. So I think what I'm going to do is go column by column. So we'll start here, work our way down. And then, um, at the end, I will hopefully have all the swatches laid out really nice on my arm so that you can see the palette all swatched together. So, um, I... I got the fun size palette, as I said, and pretty much all of it is in here except for one eyeshadow. But I started my no buy around the time the fun size two palette came out. And I do want it, but I also wasn't in a rush to buy it. I was kind of on the fence about it. Um, and so after starting my no buy, obviously I'm not buying it for sure. So I thought, um, because I've been really into doing these Duke palettes. Um, I thought I would just, you know, make a big rainbow palette. Basically, I started out by duping the Fun Size 2 palette. And then I was like, well, it'd be kind of cool to see them next to each other. So I pulled out my Fun Size and put them next to each other and realized there were a couple of things that I wanted to change, literally two things I wanted to change about them. And I did that and I thought, wow, this would be a cool rainbow palette, but I really want shimmers. So I added these toppery shades and thus this was born. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get to swatches. So the first shade is this one from Beauty Bay. This is raw and this is from the Wilderness palette. This is duping Critical Hit from the Fun Size 2 palette. Why am I swatching like that? <laughs> That's what I want. And um, I will let you, I, um, when I have changed something, I will let you know, but I really liked this, the red tone they chose to put in the palette. It was really bright, but still had a lot of depth and richness to it. And I just thought it was such a cool addition to these palettes. So I wanted to keep that. And then this is Game Over from the original Fun Size palette. And again, I just really like this. It's kind of a reddish orange. I feel like it could go well with either red or orange, depending on the look you're going for. And then this shade is Rise and Grind from the ColourPop Orange You Glad palette. And again, I really like this bright orange. It's um, a lot deeper than the other orange, um, than the orange in the uh, Fun Size palette. And I liked the idea of having something a little bit more pastel and then something a little bit brighter, if not a little bit grungier than what was in the original Fun Size palette. So I like that they kind of took a grungier, deeper, richer twist with the Fun Size 2 palette. And then this shade right here, my first hopper, is Clementine from the Orange You Glass palette. Now, I know everybody and their mother hates pressed glitters, okay? I have accepted my place in the minority as a person who loves a good pressed glitter. And I think ColourPop has amazing pressed glitters. Um, and when I was looking at these mattes all together, they're so rich and vibrant. I really didn't want to have... Um, really rich, vibrant metallics competing with these. I thought it would just be too much. But these um, toppery, glittery shades are so sheer, you can really alter the way they look depending on what you put underneath them, or you can just 
use them on their own. So I like that option. Next shade is High Score. This is from the Fun Size Palette. And this is one of the ones that doesn't swatch very well. You gotta kind of dig into it if you're swatching it with a finger. But my goodness, on the eyes. So, and you can see it's pretty light there, but it, you can build it up. It's just not very swatch friendly. I do really, really like that color though. It's such a cool like yellowy orange. This next shade is Sunny's from the ColourPop Little Ray of Sunshine palette. And sorry, Rise and Grind That Orange is duping Player 2. And then I put Sunny's in for Power Up. I do believe this is as close to that shade as I could get. Moving on, this is Continue from the Fun Size palette. And this is a much cooler yellow. They may not look all that different on camera, but um, Continue has a lot of green in it. So it's more of an acid yellow rather than like a warm golden yellow. And I really think this is gonna play well with those greens. I think it's gonna keep those, especially like this green at the top here. I think it's gonna help maintain that kind of tone of the green rather than, you know, changing it to be warmer or more golden, or whatever. You know, I think it's gonna play really nice with those greens. And then this glitter right here is Palooza from the ColourPop Uh -huh Honey palette. This next one, this acid green right here is Leaf also from the Beauty Bay Wilderness palette. This is such a cool green, I love this green. So Leaf is duping Grind from the Fun Size 2 palette. And I really do, again, I, I think they made a lot of good color choices. There were just a couple that I was like, yeah, I don't know about that. But for the most part, I really enjoyed the color choices they've made for both of these palettes. They're interesting twists on rainbow. I will give them that. Sugar Pill does rainbow very well. Um, and I just love this green and I was really happy. I, when I was looking through all my color pop palettes with green and I was like, damn it, I'm not going to be able to find this shade. And this is literally the only green that I have that is close to what is in the fun size two palette. So I am very happy that I have that. And then this next one is act natural from the color pop, just my luck palette. And this is duping button mash. And again, I like that they included this like really cool, rich, like emerald green, but it's matte. You don't see a lot of matte emerald greens, you know, you just don't. Um, and usually not done very well, but I think those two greens, I, I think the greens they chose for these palettes are just superb. Um, the next shade is, Twitch from the Fun Size palette. This one swatches pretty okay, um, but I just, I really like the screen and I think, you know, like this yellow continue is gonna work really well with leaf. I think this screen is gonna work really well with Act Natural, you know, maintaining the tone of it. Um, I think they're gonna be a really nice pair. Should I do like a green look? Um, and then this shade right here, is Play It Cool from the ColourPop Meant To Be palette. And this is not a glitter, this is a metallic. But as you will see, it's a very sheer metallic. It's got a lot of shine to it, but if it's not hitting the light, it's pretty much sheer on me anyway. All right, this next one, this bright teal, this light bright teal, this is um, or cheat code from the fun size palette. So I did like this lighter teal they included. I think it's really fun and I think it'll work well with the blues and the greens, but as my problem with the Huda Mercury retrograde palette, I have the same problem with this one. Um, 
there's that light teal and then they didn't include another teal, like a darker teal. So that's why I included this. This is turquoise from the ColourPop So Jaded palette. I just feel like teal and turquoise in general are just such underrated eyeshadow colors. And I wanted another teal in here. There's literally nothing else to it. Um, I just wanted another teal. And then turquoise, I actually um, replaced the shade Loading um, with turquoise. I forget what Loading was. What was it? But um, I should have a picture of the Fun Size 2 palette up on the screen. And whatever shade Loading is, this is what I replaced it with. Um, while I can't remember exactly what color it was, I obviously felt like it was unnecessary and I didn't want to include it. Oh, you know what I think it was? I think it was that peachy shade. I think I think that's what it was. It was like a peachy pink shade. Um, and I didn't, I didn't feel the need to have that in here. So I took it out. This shade right here is... Which one are you? Starry Eyed from the ColourPop Blue Moon Palette. And this is such a pretty blue. Oh my god, it's so pretty. I don't use my ColourPop eyeshadows nearly enough. Um, but I do know this one was for sure in the Fun Size 2 palette, this kind of tone, and I loved it. Um, I think it's such a cool contrast, especially when we get to this darker, like, almost kind of indigo shade. Oh my gosh, it's... Mm. Mm. I love so many things about these palettes, and I'm really glad I did this. And then this glitter right here is Delight from the ColourPop on Cloud Blue palette. This one is a really fine glitter. It almost feels like a metallic, but it is a glitter. Um, but yeah. When I was thinking about putting in these um, toppery shades with this, this is the first one that came to mind. I was like, I gotta have Delight in there. I just have to. <laughs> like, it's it's such a good, good eyeshadow like, or glitter, whatever you want to consider it. It's just so good. I can't not have it in here. And then this shade is 8-Bit from the Fun Size Palette. And, oh my god, look at that. It's so good. There's so many things about these Fun Size eyeshadows. Like, I love the original Fun Size Palette. And when I saw they came out with the sequel, I immediately was like, oh my god, I need to buy it. And yet I haven't. But this is such a cool color. Like that. I really, I don't have anything I don't think quite like this like um when I was comparing eyeshadows I, all of them were either too blue or too purple this one's just oh it's stunning um and then this is lavish from the beauty bay opulence or age of opulence palette and this is the closest thing I could find in all of my eyeshadows like I literally this is the only eyeshadow I have that is this color um, it's stunning. It's like the perfect mix of purple and blue. It's the perfect purple. It really is. And this, this color is what made me kind of like, I, how do I explain it? I saw this shade in the Fun Size 2 palette and I just died. I was like, God, I need that kind of a shadow in my life. <laughs> I already have it. And I'm very happy to have it. I love this color. It's so beautiful. And it's very unique in my collection, which is hard to do. So I am very happy to have it. All right, this, this eyeshadow right here, this purple, this is replacing Level Up in the original Fun Size palette. Um, this is Iffy from the ColourPop, ColourPop Lilac You A Lot palette. I did not like that the paints in the original Fun Size palette were so similar. One was a little more cool toned, one was a little more warm toned, but really in practice when I have used that palette on the eyes, you cannot tell the difference. They look the same. So I really felt that it was unnecessary to have those two pinks in the same palette or you know, in the same palette, 
in the fun size palette in the same palette here like I just felt it was completely unnecessary so I took that warmer pink out and I replaced it with iffy because the only purple in either of these palettes was this shade right here which is what are you player one and this is in the original fun size palette and I thought you know I, I just felt like we needed an actual purple somewhere in these palettes that was one of the things that was keeping me from buying the fun size 2 palette is that they didn't include a nice rich grungy purple you know and I feel like this you could use um, you could really make it go cool toned or warm toned it's kind of you know in the nice middle ground and it could really go either way all right this next shade is overpacked from the ColourPop flutter by palette and I mean like I'm sure you can tell I was going with a rainbow thing with these toppery kind of shades and I just love this I have a couple of more purpley glitters from ColourPop and I I just I had to have this one it um, has that more mauvey purple base to it um it can really lean like a warm purple but when it hits the light you can also see a lot of blue and you know green and just oh it's so pretty it's so pretty all these glitters and toppers are so pretty but like that one especially like uh, it's, ooh, it's got my heart all right last column so this is player one as I said and I think this is going to be really fun to have especially with iffy because I could use 8-bit to make this more cool toned or lavish if I wanted to make it really deep and cool toned but then this will help me keep it more warm toned you know I, I think it I, I think I made a good move by putting it in, if I do say so myself. But I did like this tone of purple. Um, when I was looking at everything as a whole, I was like, yeah, okay, that's got to put this here. So I kept it. And then this is the pink from the original fun size palette that I kept. This is, what are you? Rage Quit. And the reason I left this one in rather than that warmer pink is because of the pink in the fun size 2 palette which um, I'm duping with poodle from the ColourPop ooh la la palette so the pink in the fun size 2 palette is a lot warmer um, more of a mid-tone pink it's not like a hot warm pink it's a little bit more toned down and I felt like this pink and the one I was keeping from the fun size palette were different enough to justify keeping them both. And, you know, like I said, I like having a more cool toned option and a warmer toned option. So that is what I went with. And then for my pinkish topper, this is Pop from the Candy Button eyeshadow palette. And it's a palette color Pop doesn't sell anymore, but still a beautiful shade I love how sheer this is it's like their super shock formula I love how sheer it is but it's just so stunning their super shocks are so good I mean I think everybody can agree on that their super shocks are really good when they're fresh and new but um yeah so that is my little palette um this is my rainbow palette inspired by the fun size and fun size 2 palettes from Sugar Pill featuring most of the fun size palette from Sugar Pill. Yeah, all right, that is it. Also, uh, a belated Happy New Year to everybody. I hope you are sticking to your resolutions and your goals. And um, if you've already given up, get back on the horse. It is only the first week of January. So don't give up just yet. You got a ways to go. Um, but yeah. That's going to be it for me. I'll see you guys on Monday. Have a lovely weekend. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a lovely day or night wherever you are. And I'll see you in the next one.